So, last week we tried to do a war against the Axis, but that didn't go well, so we just started doing a... There we go. Final tap back in. Uh, we started um, building up our army a little bit. We did get basically a full new army over here for the Italian front, which is hopefully going to help. And then, uh, before starting today, I was looking through the stats of the artillery a little bit. Um, actually, it's probably better to show from here. So, between the... A regular artillery, the terrain stats uh, primarily, and of course the like the regular stats here. But like the regular RT and medium RT, just the difference in there is actually qu quite substantial in the terrain modifiers. So basically, medium artillery, while it's slower, it um, takes more supplies and it actually takes a bit of fuel as well, more officers and more IC and all that. So it is more expensive to make. It also takes a little bit more manpower, but like um. It is going to be notably better for our foot infantry. For faster troops like motorized and mechanized, the regular artillery is still okay, or the self prepared artillery, or maybe even rocket artillery from time to time. But like a medium artillery is going to be our new thing for the, or the primary weapon for our, or primary artillery for our infantry now. So we got probably close to 100. Regiments being replaced. Well, maybe not quite 100, but it's a lot of IC, let's just put it that way. Let's uh, unpause. I'm going to let it go for at least a day and then we'll speed up to speed for while we wait because there's not that much going to be happening yet. Although there's a few things to note, which I'll show in just a few moments. Um. The USA and, well, Germany and Italy are still fighting in Sicily, but in my test game that I did earlier today, USA did eventually manage to win this. Like, it's a massive war of attrition once Italians are running, or well, Italians are already running out of manpower, and the German troops in here are quite battered. So, it's um, quite possible that the USA will win the combat in there, and they'll be taking out Sicily. They might not be able to really do a landing into mainland Italy, though. Let's see, special operations is ahead of time now, so it is. And then another thing that happened is Italy, probably there was a revolt or something that took like half of Sardinia, the northern half of Sardinia to be precise. And then... Oh, submarine class advances. Okay, good, 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 good. Need a bit more upgrades and we might need a bit more supplies as well. I'm just going to put a little bit extra there. Just in case, but yeah, we've got 1100 IC in production right now. And then... Japan is currently losing quite a bit of ground in India. And it's quite possible that they will get pushed all the way to Burma today. Maybe even further than that if uh, we are lucky. Also, oh, uh, we got a mechanized troop unit, so we'll... Um, put that soon, but yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, this is uh, hilarious. So, Siam is at war with the Allies, but they're also aligning towards the Allies, and they're drifting towards the Allies, so they won't be able to join the Axis unless um, some events happen, I think. But I don't think those events can happen because Germany doesn't control Paris, so there's that, and Vichy France doesn't exist either. So there's few things that are kind of stopping that, but yeah, Siam is fighting the Allies and also aligning towards the Allies. So that's just a nice little uh, tidbit there. Also, I think I'm going to invest in all of the mines right now. And other than that, I suppose, well, I don't really have the money that much right now. But yeah, we've got another mechanized division. I think what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to put it on the Prussian frontier, or Eastern Prussian frontier under Nasser's army. Does it exist? Yeah, the not joining axis, yeah. Uh, but, like, there is a landing from Australia in here that is technically taking away lands that CM had occupied. But, like, that landing might be quite interesting in, say, a few months from now. It's probably not going to be, like, a massive breakthrough or anything like that, but it's going to cause some problems. And that might actually be part of the reason why the Japanese have lost a lot of land here, because if there's enemies in there, they need to get troops in there. Plus, there's been some partisans from the French over here that have freed up some land. But anyway, let's get back to Europe and have a look at the situation there. So, we haven't actually started working on any of the new artillery pieces yet. We've got also a bit of infrastructure underway, but that's not going to be too big of an issue. And actually, I suppose I could put the radar station up top there. Um, I wonder, we do have the 
Oh, it's 1944 May for the pocket battleship. That's going to take a while then. Uh, light armor design advances, excellent. But yeah, we, since we have started getting some radars here, we can actually see a little bit of the details about the enemy units, especially whenever there's a headquarters in there. We can see a fair bit of information about them. We can see that they don't really have a lot of troops in our border here. Of course, we're not really ready until the artillery has been replaced. And that is going to take some time, but that's honestly fine. Um, we're still on speed 3. Let's go to speed 4. I can see that there's some bombardment of the industry going on in here. Oh, excellent. Italy is suffering. I don't know how much it's going to be suffering, to be fair, but it is suffering nonetheless. Okay, so the Americans haven't taken more provinces here yet. And what's the ETA on upgrades? Um, I believe... Well, it would be in July if all of them were to be done now. So it would be like... Hold on. May, June... It's about two and a half months. There's not like a massively long time period in there that needs to be gone through. Right, uh, we can get rid of the advanced tank optics for the time being. Like, I'm just going to let the productions run through first because we're going to be getting the mechanized uh, core rather soon. And that's going to free up a lot of industry already. And that means that we'll start working on these. And then the infantry corps over here is going to be under my army for a bit of extra for troops. At least on 43 we can get a better artichek that will help. Yeah, that's true. Landing craft flotilla advance and another mechanized division. Excellent. And what did we get? Oh, long range submarine class. Okay, so now we can put in the submarine text again into the research queue. There we go. Um, we still got 191 text being researched, so we might have a bit of an extra in there, in all fairness, but it'll be fine. Actually, that we do have over 10,000, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to import some copper again, because I know that the deal that we have right now is going to end during summer. Uh, I think Canada will do, or maybe Belgium. Belgium will do. Buy a little bit of copper. But yeah, for the artillery techs, I mean, yeah, there's, uh, these are going to be a lot. Ooh, right, the self prepared artillery should probably be taken as well. And then there's the artillery fire control techniques, which is really nice. It in increases the terrain modifiers for pretty much everything. It also increases soft attacks for at least some of the artilleries. No, actually, regular artillery doesn't get the extra soft attack from that. It's mostly just rocket artillery, actually. Huh. Okay. EP ammunition for cruisers. Okay, so that is now ahead of time. Oh yeah, it's 1944. Well, at least that's one take off from the research queue. Medium velocity gun and industrial efficiency. I believe both of those are now ahead of time. So now we just need to get the medium tank uh, tech so we can start researching the high velocity gun, which will then unlock the heavy AT, which is going to be... Um, well, basically means that we're going to replace all the regular AT uh, regiments, more or less. Hold on a minute. Uh, it was in, in industry. Yeah, that is ahead of time indeed. Cruiser 1 Texas is like the max one should get. 2 to 1 is more manageable to maintain. Which is a, a 3 to... <laughs> yeah. It's rather soon. Um, hello, Jazz. How's it going? It says we got a lot of texts uh, from especially the ships and that sort of stuff that are, we're researching right now. So there's a bit of an overfall. Although actually, there are a few things that I could remove from the research queue. I believe this is mostly in the air stuff. Naval tactics, logistical, carrier group, because those are next year's texts anyway. Oh, and naval tactics, air strike tactics, that sort of stuff. So that's actually a reducing a little bit. Time we were prepared. <laughs> Time on target. I believe that is in Grand Battle. Yeah, there we go. That is ahead of time. Another mechanized division going in towards the East Prussia. Okay, so that's basically going to be a spearhead going to Königsberg, basically. Medium armor design. So that is excellent. There's a bit of a Polish uh, nationalist down here. Taz, thanks for the resub. 
Feels more like 18 days. <laughs> yeah, that's actually our second Twitch baby, isn't it? Have you decided on the name yet? Force it, Twitch baby. Right, so we're going to be getting some close airs well rather soon. Oh yeah, that's true. The heavy uh, AT, we do need to research that. I think I'm going to take that for the efficiency for production, because we kind of do need that. Got a bit of copper surplus, infantry uh, support, tank advance, and yeah, now we're going to get the high velocity gun. That's going to be going to the top of the list, which means it's going to be done in August. So that's actually not too far away. Right, so that is... Uh, oh, we actually have a bit of a uh, supply problem. Well, actually, it's fuel problems in here. Um, to be fair, there might be a bit of an increase in the supply consumption. So I'm just going to increase that a little bit. Airborne unit training goes up. Excellent. That's another rebellion dealt with. Other, well, uprising may be better than rebellion in this case. Um, I think... Yeah, we're going to have a bit of planes here. I'm going to put, put those in split. Sign that under the book of resting. I believe there are some uh, wings that I have not assigned under the headquarters. For example, this one. Actually, a lot of these haven't been put in there. Uh, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to get like at least eight wings of interceptors here. It should be a reserve group for all those paratroopers we have. I mean, we've got one. And plus, the um, airborne unit training increases the a light truck organization of morale, which we do have a little bit light trucks. It's not massive, but it's a little bit. Only our three engine could manage all equipment that was upgraded. So either sell or create some divisions faster between us. Yeah, that would be nice indeed. Not wrong. Now, we are getting really close to 80 unity, which means that we can then switch to the heavy industry. Which is going to be a bit more IC and um, less money, but there's a few other things that it does allow us to get. Also, I suppose a bit less leadership now that I think of it. But that's not a problem. We've got plenty of officers. Oh, actually, yeah, we've got a ton of officers now. Because we're not increasing the size of our military quite as much anymore. So I'm just going to lower that to like 120 officers per day. Means that we can do a bit more research. There we go. Yeah, it is more production. Which we do need. Especially to get through the upgrade. There's about a few. Oddly enough, oh, some of these are a bit different cost. Maybe there's just, I don't know. Right, so how are the fights going on in Sicily? Oh, um, Americans have taken one province and have lost another province. Yeah, true. Like, there are certainly good, uh, like, um, things in Hoi 4. I, well, I still prefer Hoi 3 myself, but, like, um, the equipment is certainly one of the strengths of uh, Hoi 4. Let's see. Different upgrades on the model, so some may not have all tech upgrades. Yeah, I suppose that's profitable. And the Dutch want to buy some more close air support from me. Sure. Oh, right, now we've got all sorts of things. So we've got some infantry. I'm going to put that in... Maybe there. Let's put this under my army. Got some torpedo boats. I think I'm just going to put these into Danzig. Have a little bit of ships over there to help our allies once the war to start. Oh, and the... So the rubber mines expansion launch, so that's a bit of crude oil, but that's going to get us the rubber eventually. Well, actually, yeah, that is the rubber now. Equipment production and designs is where Hope 4 shines. Yeah, true. I think the kind of warfare, or the actual combat is, in my opinion, a bit better in Hope 3 at least. Especially the air control that you have. Of course, that's probably going to change in the, whatever is going to be the next big expansion for Hope 4. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of the things at least done. We're also going to be getting some air force soon. That's going to be put into Brag for the reserve uh, wings, I think. 
Oh. I believe Mexico... Yeah, Mexico just joined the Allies. Well then. Oh, and I can invest into more synthetic rubber. Let's do that. Especially since it's just crude oil, and we got plenty of that. Oh, another infantry division. And then the interceptors. Let's start with that. And this on the Bucharesti, and then call this... Um, Rock Reserve. Just so that we know that that's supposed to be a reserve a wing. We can put in a quite a bit of uh, wings in that. It shouldn't be flying anywhere, necessarily. Well, maybe if it goes to be reserved elsewhere, but you know. For a while, it's probably not going to be moving at all. Uh, there's a lot of Germans moving about here. I actually... There's at least five tank destroyers in here. And that's not all. There's probably quite a bit of divisions going through here. I don't know if they're going to my border or just passing through. I'm going to take uh, Hoi 3 to get to the state it's in. Um, well, to be fair, uh, if we're comparing like vanilla Hoi 3 and then Hoi 4, then yeah, I would say that uh, Hoi 4 is definitely better. But if we're comparing Black Eyes Hoi 3 to Hoi 4, then I would say Hoi 3 is better. But like, um, Hoi 3 was originally released in like, what, 2009? And I believe the last expansion was released in like... 2012 maybe? Somewhere around there, so it didn't take all that many years. I would think Romania has this massive oil first. Yeah, weird that. See, we are gonna get another mechanized division very soon, and then oh wow, that's actually a ton of infantry that is being built up now. Um, we don't need the um that thing, whatever it's called again, rationing necessarily. Is this a full core already? Oh yeah, it is. There might be some mismatch, uh, mismatch of divisions actually. Yeah, there is, but that's fine. And the next one is probably going to go down somewhere over here to assist on this area. It's not like I have much more troops than motorized tank uh, R Romania would have. Yeah, I mean, uh, our army is just 2.6, not 2.6, 2.36 million. It's not like it's big. Although, <laughs> in this timeline, Germany, well, I mean, suppose. Germany has given some troops to, like, Italy, so it's not necessarily completely fair comparison, but they got, like, 2.6, 2.7. The pocket battleship uh, right now is going to be done in April 44, so it's about two years still. Of course, we might be able to speed that up a little bit once we get a bit more cruisers, which, actually, we're going to get another heavy cruiser in just six days. Right, have we started working on the artillery yet? We have. The first ones are going to be done in first of, oh, 10th of July, sorry, then 13th. So most of them are going to be done in July or early August. Well, let's just say July or August. Hey, we got rubber surplus now. We lost the copper surplus, unfortunately, but at least we got the rubber and coal rationing. We don't need that. Or the petrol rationing. Another division. Let's just go ahead and get another core over here. Because we do need to get a new army, then this can be under the Northern Army Group once more. Put that under the Bruno, and... Something like uh, one to two months per heavy cruiser. Possibly. Not entirely sure how much it's actually going to be, but... That's probably going to be the scale of uh, sped up in there, and we do have... Um, at least two heavy cruisers are going to be done. Actually, that's still next year. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, more Polish separatists. Okay. Um, I'm going to send this one. Um, <laughs> that should be alright. Luckily, the cavalry is rather quick. And the terrain shouldn't uh, be hindering too much. I mean, the wagons have a bit of a problem there. I think the wagon might actually be the bottleneck right now. Oh, never mind. Now that they got off to, the, off to another province, then it's even faster. Interdiction, Mountain Headquarters Advance. We don't actually get the Headquarters Unis, unfortunately, but at least we get the bonuses from that. A little bit less upgrades, and then got the core over here. I suppose what I could do is I could have these 
mostly like preparing to go towards like Venice or something like that. That should actually be fine. Let me move these in here. So this is going to be... Yeah, there's a fair bit of armies in here now. This time, uh, if and when we start fighting the Italians, I think we will be... Oh, there we go. The um, Americans have got on a mountain over here in the middle of Sicily now, so that is going to help them hopefully quite a bit. Um, the front line in Algeria and Tunis, or border of Algeria and Tunis, hasn't really moved that much since the start of the stream. But one thing that is also going on is the, uh, the UK is uh, pushing pretty hard on the Italian holdings in Ethiopia. I mean, they've also apparently done a landing in North or something. They started taking, well, they basically have a bit of a pincer movement towards uh, Ethiopia. Let's see which one of those is going to be advancing further, I suppose. Oh, and we got the... Unity now, we can switch to the um, heavy industry. So let's see, uh, that's going to be about 40% less money, uh, less consumer goods. Um, resource, oh, it's resource efficiency that is going down. Okay, but that's fine. Unit recruitment time is going to go down, actually, and IC efficiency for production is going to go up. So that is really nice. There we go, and also we got another infantry division. And actually, speaking of uh, troops, we did have the four over here, so this is going to be kind of pushing, as I already said, towards uh, Königsberg. That should be alright. That's also, you know, giving Mars a little bit of um, heavier stuff. And now that... Oh man, that's going to speed up things a lot. Actually, it's... It did speed up the pocket battleship as well a tiny bit. It's not massive speed up there, but it is a little bit at least. And a lot of the infrastructure is now going to get built a bit sooner. Did it have an impact... Oh yeah, it did actually speed up uh, some of the artillery as well. It's still got quite a bit of artillery being built, but you know. Yeah, it, it was almost one month, actually. Wasn't it like 20-something of uh, April 1944? And yeah, the heavy cruisers will certainly be done faster. The industry asked for more money, well, we shall pay. And oh, wow, right, yeah, all these planes. So, Braga Reserve is going to get all eight, or well, up to eight wings now. Um, close air support. I suppose I could have a, another set of wings in Zagreb, and what I can do is I can have one of these as a reserve, another one doing the stuff. Then we get the heavy cruiser for our second cruiser fleet. And actually, I believe... Oh, that should probably be under the Bucharest headquarters. We should have a... Oh wait, no, not not there. Over here, the destroyer fleet. This one. I'm going to make this into the third cruiser fleet. There we go, because we do have another light and heavy cruiser underway. So now it's already December of 1943, so that is a massive spit up in that. Oh man, and we're going to get another light cruiser basically now. So yeah, it <laughs> spin off quite nicely. So that is going to go into the third cruiser fleet. Excellent. And now we've got a cruiser practical of um, 5.9 already. So what is it? It's already November. Yeah, the shoot practicals do matter a lot. You're not wrong. Uh, let's increase the supplies a tiny bit. A bit less upgrades. We should be getting the... Uh, small arms upgrade soon, right? In June, okay. Or end of June. So it's still a little bit. But that's going to increase the upgrades quite a bit. As one might expect. And there we go. We beat down another uprising. As we should. And one thing that is going to happen once we get the artillery upgrade is that that's going to increase the... Officer is required by... Actually, how much is it per... It's about 11 per regiment. So it's going to be at least a few thousand. Overall, that is going to cost us. Uh, I suppose I could lower the reinforcements a tiny bit. I don't want to reduce it too much, though. Because it is going to be fluctuating. Primarily because of the supply situation in Denmark, most likely. But yeah, it's going to cause some problems.